Well, I'm going to give it a try. Um, this is my first time doing this type of little uh, online camera thingy duty. Uh, my name is Tim Ostendorf. I'm here up in uh, New Hampshire. And I'm going to be talking about my favorite singer in the world. Her name is Joan Sutherland. Um, doing one of these videos was inspired by um, Seth, Seth, Rud Seth, Seth, Rudet, Rudetsky, Rudutsky, Rud whatever. You know who I mean. He's the one who does the, he's the big theater guy um, and uh, does the Broadway stuff and, and everything. And he, I think he has a radio show and, and all that. I th no, he does have a radio. I, I don't think he, I know he does. And so this is my first time doing this sort of thing, and so I thought I'd give it a try. What the heck? Um, and I'm just rambling uh, a little bit to talk about Joan Sutherland. She is one of my favorite um, singers, and I did. Oh, I did get a chance to meet her. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Look at. Voila. Yes, that's me and Joan Sutherland. There I am. Or over there. And that was a few years ago. Um, I was younger, thinner. And had no gray hair. But anyway, so um, what I thought I'd do since it's Christmas time, I would do one of um, uh, her, well, her Christmas album is one of my favorites. This is a, an original, not, well, obviously it's not original because it's small. I didn't shrink it down. Um, but it's the original um, cover. Well, not, like I said, it's a CD, so it's originally was issued on LP. Anyway, that's what it looked like when it first came out. You know what I'm trying to say. So um, I'm not going to do the whole album, obviously. That would take forever. And since most of you don't know who I am, you're probably going to be bored by that anyway. So I thought I'd just play a little of my favorite number from this, track number seven, uh, Old Chestnut, um, The Twelve Days of Christmas. And there are 12 of them, 12 days. And it's a great setting. It was conducted by Richard Bonning, her husband. And, oh, by the way, um, yes... As you can see, um, everyone thinks she was like a gazillion feet tall, and I'm 5'10", and as you can see, I'm actually a little taller than she is. So, But the funny thing is, everything about her was huge. Her hands, like her hands were like five the set times, the set, like they were huge, um, huge hands. And um, not jazz hands, but huge hands. Huge, 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 huge hands. Hold on a moment. It's grapefruit juice. <clears throat> so anyway. One of my favorite singers. Everyone says that she had really bad diction, so that's really funny. And you know, I'm sorry, I'm new to this. I'm not sure where to look. Do I look at my screen? Do I look at the camera? Do I look at the screen? Do I look at the camera? I don't know. Um, but hopefully you can hear this, because I don't know how this works once again. But I got my little bows over here, and, I got, and I'll be pausing and telling you all about it, just like Mr. Seth Rudetsky, Rudetsky huh, him. Um, here we go. Turning up the ball. I can't understand the words. I'm again. hear each time there's a new thing it has a new little instrumental do -do 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 -do, whatever it is a little boop, 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 do -do -do -do, like that it's really cool you have to listen to it multiple times to get all the um the details it's very cool i don't know who the arrangement this doesn't tell me who the arrangement was maybe it's on the bigger cd this is just one of those individual sleeves 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 so it doesn't have anyway there you go <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Do you love that five gold rings? Get it? And did you know the chorus was going to come in? How cool is that? Sorry, I keep getting out of the camera's range. Like I said, this is my first one. I'm not sure how to do it. You know what I'm saying? I was also inspired, by the way, besides Mr. Rudetsky, Rudetsky, Rudetsky. I'm sorry. I'm going to look up your name and I'm going to pronounce it quickly. Because if you ever saw this, you're going to be like, who the hell is that? And you're saying my name wrong. Oh, by my... Oh, Monty, come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Over here. Come here. 
<laughs> okay, you have to see my dog. Say hello. Oh, oh, where is he? There he is. Hey. Oh, how cute are you? That's my dog. That's Monty. Um, oh. Tell me. I'll figure. Oh, there we go. That's how it works. I keep forgetting. Oh, down, down, down. Oh, do you like that? I got that painting. Um. In Booth Bay Harbor this summer, we always go there. A good friend of ours has a house there. Bought that this summer. Thought it was very cool. So anyway, and oh, Monty wants to play. Give me that. Go get it. Go get it. Arr, arr, arr. Give me that. Ah, we'll let him play for a while. And so anyway, I was also inspired. Besides Seth, um, there's a video, uh, a couple of videos on YouTube um, called "What's Gay in the Kitchen," and it's very funny and they do a cooking show they do guacamole and they did um what's the stuff with the rice um yeah you know that stuff you cook it really slow anyway uh risotto and they did something else i don't remember oh uh hollandaise sauce that's right um and that was really funny so anyway i was inspired by them as well so here we're back to the song <laughs> I just love that little ding, 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 get five golden rings. But one, one of the verses, it's going to be a little different. Oh, I love that. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? True love sent to her. How clever is that, right? They even changed the words. Okay, so here's uh, number 12, right? I must have listened to this. A uh, good friend of mine, um, uh, well... I feel terrible. We're not as good. We're not, we're not good friends anymore. We've lost touch. We used to be very, very good friends. His favorite singer was Birgit Nilsson. Mine was Joan Sutherland. And so luckily there was not a lot of crossover. Um, it's difficult sometimes when you have a singer who has a similar repertoire, like somebody, if like if I had a good friend, which I do, uh, another friend, he lives on the other side of the country, uh, John Carroll, his favorite singer is Beverly Sills. So of course, you know, there's a little sparring because they have very similar repertoire. But this friend, Michael Richard, two first names. What's up with that, right? So he has two first names. That's not really the Point of the story we did lose touch but we were really good friends for a long time back in boston and we used to get together quite often and listen to music it was great and we'd have a couple cocktails and by a couple i mean 20 and we'd listen to music and um where was i going with that hmm. Hmm. i don't know anyway mr michael if you see this all right um but oh i know what i was going to say because this is the last verse 12 12 days of Christmas was the last one, right? 12th day of Christmas. And we must have listened to this like 40 times right in a row, like with the CD player, tick, 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 back and forth, back and forth, because she says, um, it, it's supposed to be, I think, a 12, was it 12 Lords Leaping, 11 Pipers Piping, something like that, whatever it is. She starts to say eight maids of milking, and she says eight maids of dancing, or eight maids of singing, or whatever the heck it is. Anyway, you'll hear it. Hold on a moment. Eight maids of dancing. I think that's what she says. I think that's so funny. Eight maids of dancing. <laughs> Eight maids of dancing. What is that? It's okay. The big one is the five golden ring. Wow. 
love that. So the next one, I think I'll probably do Oh Holy Night because it's so popular. And but usually the big high note is B flat. You know, the big soprano goes up to the big flat. Oh Holy Night, da, 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 you know, right? And so instead, she takes it up like a minor or major. Th I don't know. The high note's a D. It's crazy. Uh, but you hear it the next time uh, when I remix Tim Austin off with Joan Sutherland here on the used tubes. Oh, I don't know. How, how do I turn that off? I think I just clicked this. Goodbye. Did I click it?